Hello, this is Brent with FlexFire LEDs, and uh, today we're talking about a user-submitted question we had about what the difference is between the eBay and Amazon strip lights and the ones that we sell from FlexFire LEDs. Um, we are specialists in LED strips, and we specialize in the high brightness style of the LED strip lights. Um, the first thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is um, the LED strip light on the left-hand side, which is a strip that we got off of eBay. This one was around $26, I believe. We got it from a foreign seller. Um, and we did order it. It said 300 LEDs on the reel, but there only showed up 150. Um, so I guess the first thing to point out is, is this seller going to be responsive, send us out the right thing in a timely manner? Uh, I'm sure, you know, it was an honest mistake, and they'll, they'll send it out. But if you are on a job site and you want to get this done, you have the electrician in your home, you really want to have, make sure whatever company you're going to use can respond to any mistake in a very timely manner. Um, the first thing uh, I wanted to point out is while you're searching for your LED strip lights, you're going to notice a lot of things look very, very similar. Um, because the LED industry is still pretty much in its introductory phase uh, in comparison with the potential, there are a lot of uh, lack of standards, I guess you could say, in the industry. So a lot of things look very similar, but they are very different. Um, so a couple things, the PCB board, the resistors, the LEDs themselves, the solder points, these are some of the things that you want to look for. Um, the first thing we're going to talk about is the PCB board. As you can tell off the eBay strip, this PCB board um, is very, very thin. And uh, the reason why that, I guess, is a negative thing is because uh, heat is pretty much death to an LED. Um, LEDs lifespans decrease significantly if they're ran very hot for a long period of time. So it's a very good to have a, an appropriate heat sink or something to draw the heat away from the LED. In this case, the LED strip light, the strip itself is the heat sink. And so for this strip, it's very, very thin. It's, um, you can pretty much squeeze it in any direction and it's bendable. It's probably the same consistency as a few pieces of electrical tape. It's hard to show that on the video. Um, in comparison, ours, you can see, you just look at the quality and you can see it's a little, a little bit different, different style layout. Um, it's a lot thicker of an LED strip, so you can run this for a few hours and it's not going to get hot at all, even though there's 600 LEDs on this reel. Um, the second thing you want to talk about is uh, resistors. Those kind of hard to talk about, or sorry, though it's kind of difficult for the seller a lot of the times to tell you the name of the resistor, who the company is, this is something that they should know. Um, with the eBay listing, they're not going to name, you know, the, the type of resistor that's on here. But let's say your LEDs itself is a good LED, and um, they're rated at 50,000 hours, but the supplier used very inexpensive resistors, this LED strip can fail within a month. Um, so, you know, your 10-year lifespan that you hoped for <laughs> and had your electrician come out and install, um, pretty much you, you want to, you know, make sure that everything is good or else your electrician is going to be coming back out again. Um, Another thing I wanted to talk to you about is the LEDs. You're going to want to look at a couple things with the LEDs. You're going to want to know the CRI, which is the Color Rendering Index. Um, you're going to want to see the LM79 testing. You want to basically know that these LEDs can verify their claims from the manufacturer. A lot of them will say, hey, we put out 5,000 lumen, and then we get them in the shop to test them. When we test them, they're only putting out 2,000 lumen. Uh, for those who don't know, a lumen is the amount of light visible to the human eye. And so in the past, incandescent bulbs, and you would measure the amount of light output by watts. Now, you know, you can see a lot of things are changing to lumen. Um, so talking about the brightness, um, obviously when I show you the example right now, there's going to be more brightness on the one with a lot more LEDs. Um, it's kind of hard to see right now, but even if you took one LED versus one LED, the ones that we carry are a lot brighter. Um, the PCB board is heating up a little bit, and I would say it's heating up the same amount, even though we have basically three times the amount of LEDs on here. Um, so those are a couple of things I wanted to talk to you about. Um, make sure that whatever LED strip light you're gonna put in your home, around your family, or in your product, in your sign, in your hotel, wherever you guys are gonna be using these, make sure they're UL listed. This is a, sa a safety certification here uh, in the U.S. and globally, it really just verifies the product safety and these are going to be safe around everyone else for a very long period of time. Um, that's pretty much it. And uh, if you guys have any questions about the differences, we're going to be creating another video that's going to show five to ten different suppliers, uh, you know, Ikea, 
uh, some of the Home Depot stuff versus the Flex Fire LEDs. And it'll be pretty obvious why some of the major aerospace companies and some of the largest building contractors um, in the United States only specify Flex Fire LEDs. So uh, again, the uh, website is flexfireleds.com and you can go ahead and submit any question you want or go ahead and give us a call and we'll help you out. Thank you.